the arrow diagram on the right shows a function of h. So this is a function of h. State the value of m. So here is m. So to get the value of m, we should know what is this function first. So a, you see here this is function h. So hx, this is function hx. So you see here, when this one is negative, you get positive. When this one is positive, you also get positive. So negative 2, 3, 2, 2 is 3, 4 is 15. So you can see here, 2 square, you get 4. So 4 minus 1 is 3. And this one is 2 square, you get 4. 4 minus 1, you get 3. And this one is 4 square is 16. 16 minus 1 is 15. So we can find a relation which can fit in this 3, 1, which is hx is equal to x square minus 1. So you see here, when h negative 2 is equal to negative 2 square minus 1, so we get so when h when the object is negative 2, you get 3. When h is equal to 2, you get 3. When h is equal to 4, you get 15. When h is equal to 6, what is m? So you have to find what is the relation between object and image. Get 4 minus 1, 3. So h2 is equal to 2 square minus 1 which is 3. And this one is 4 square minus 1 is 15. So we know that m, h, h6 is equal to m. So when we get this function, we can substitute. So h6 is equal to x, it will become to 6 square. When this one change to 6, the one with x will change to 6 as well. So you get minus 1. So you get here 36 minus 1, you get 35. So m is equal to 35. So h6 is equal to 35 which is also equal to m. So m is equal to 35. So b, using the function notation, express h in term of x. So this one is the answer. So h in term of x, hx is equal to x squared minus 1. So this is the answer.